What's up everybody? Graver here, and today we are going to be taking a look at some things that I got sent by, by Nerd Nerds. Uh, Nerd Nerds, I have talked about on the channel once or twice before. Uh, this is the uh, team that helped bring to life the Nerf tank that was at Cataclysm, and I think it was also at APOC as well. So yeah, um, I've uh, they've reached out to me uh, asking if I would like to review some of their new 3D printed uh, items that are on sale on their new Etsy page. Uh, link will be down in the description below. Sorry, I got something flying around my lights up there. Um, but yeah, these things are actually really, really nice, I must say. Now, I've taken them off of my wall. I've had them, I've had things hanging all afternoon just to make sure, you know, could hold up, that kind of thing. But as a disclaimer, I do want to say, I have somewhat worked with them in the past on another project, which unfortunately I never finished. I hope to finish this summer. Uh, but just to showcase what that is, uh, as many of you know, this is uh, the Green Lantern Raider. Uh, this belonged to my friend John, who passed away many years ago, and has always been on my wall, but if you've noticed for quite some time, it actually has not. Uh, that's because I wanted to kind of give this its own like kind of place of glory so I wanted to make a nice wall plaque for it unfortunately I really didn't know how I could mount it properly without uh, either trying to take some of like the hanging hooks from those to put it on there or try and fabricate something out of wood and make it look kind of crappy so last year Nerd Nerds actually started development of their uh, 3d printed wall mounts and started showing them off and all and I reached out to them about making one for the Raider and we actually worked back and forth for a couple of weeks on it and we wound up actually coming up with this and this is this is honestly it's a one-off I don't think they would ever I don't think they're reproducing this particular one but they made this one special for me for this project and I thank them for that one uh, but yeah, this is a really nice uh, mount that is going to be going onto a plaque that I have off camera. It's going to be mounted by three screws, and everything on this thing is thick with two Cs. Uh, the walls are really thick. The base is really thick because since this is only being held on by three screws and I have this, I want to make sure it stays on there permanently. Well, not permanently. I can, can take it off because it has the clip releases, but yeah. And the other cool thing is, this is a flush mount, so when I put it on that plaque, it is going to sit right up against there, and it's going to look fantastic. So, that is some of the work that they did last year, and this is the work that they're doing this year. And these are their pegboard wall mounts. They do have other versions of these that are for, um, to go directly onto a wall. I did not get those because when I asked if I wanted to review anything, I had said I wanted the pegboard ones because I have pegboard in the shop. Uh, but I didn't want to do anything with the wall mount yet. So there's that. Now, I did get all three versions of their pegboard mounts. The full clip one is up on my wall, and you'll see that one later in the video. I also have the half dart or talon mag one. And then I also have their zinc 2.0 slash tactical jolt mount and yes i did say tactical jolt because they also sent me this which is the other product that they have on their etsy page and yes this is just to make your jolt tactically cool sweetness um unfortunately i don't have a jolt that i can actually show how to put it in but you basically just take the barrel slide it in here and then pop it in and it snaps on and it holds and it's wonderful from what I've seen in pictures. You have a really nice sized piece of Picatinny rail on top for all of your optic mounting needs for that jolt. And you also have two small uh, underneath as well. So, you know, if you want to add a flashlight or add a uh, foregrip to it, because, you know, jolts, they got that power, yo. Uh, but you also do have a nice uh, loading slot right there, so you don't have to constantly ram uh, ramrod the uh, darts in and that's really nice and I gotta say the quality of build on all of these pieces is really nice it's very good 
very well done, especially knowing what they did last year for me. I was expecting nonetheless. Um, I will say this as part of my full disclosure on anything I review, I always look for good and bad, and I will say if there is anything bad. There was a small issue I did have with the uh, full clip mount, and that was that it did not sit flush. Uh, I tried a couple of different blasters. They weren't sitting flush. I realized that the length that they that uh, they had made for the full length blasters was a little too much because if I prime the blasters and open the breech, it sat perfectly fine. But you don't want to leave a primed blaster on your wall because that's going to ruin the spring, and we all know what's going to happen with that. You have poor performance, and you're not going to be happy, and it's going to be ruining your day, and all this stuff. So I actually reached out to uh, Nerd Nerds and had mentioned, hey, everything's fine with the prints, you know, all that kind of stuff, a little heads up. But the, f the full-length mag was a little too tall. Knock it down maybe about 5 millimeters. You should be fine. He came back within an hour and said, you know what? I redesigned it. It's down 7 millimeters. Just be on the safe side. So, you know what? Instant feedback was great. And the fact that they weren't, you know, getting all, oh, well, you're doing it wrong or whatever. No, just, oh, okay, thanks for the heads up. And that was it. So that's, it's always amazing when you get to work with people like that. So, yeah. I tried the angled mount with a few things. Now, unfortunately, I don't have anything that takes Allen. I always want to say Allen magazines. Angled Talon magazines. So I can't really test it on there. However, that thing's really going to annoy me. Um, I did try my Fire Rat. And unfortunately, the geometry isn't right for it. So it's not going to fit the Fire Rat. It may fit the gecko. I don't know. Your mileage may vary. I don't have a gecko yet. Um, it might one may or may not be in the works. I'm not saying anything else. But it does fit your zinc really nicely. But now you're saying, Griever, I I don't want my zinc to point that way. I want it to point this way. But I can't do that because it doesn't work. Aha! They have thought of that. Instead of making just an entire different file for that, they've actually made this into, uh, so that it is switchable. Uh, I don't know how well you can, you can see it, but down there you can see two nuts and two bolts in there. All you have to do is unscrew them from the bottom here, take this off, flip it, and re-screw it, and now it faces the other way. So, there you go on that. Now, other thing I want to talk about is the build quality. The build quality is amazing. The back end here the and the bottom mounts or the bottom part of the base, is just like what is in my radar. It is thick with the two C's, because damn, boy, that hurt, because that's solid. And also, build quality here, you can see there, almost no, little bit of flex, but it, it's taken a bit to do that flex. It's a very, very good quality build. Not to mention, I have had my... Nexus Pro sitting on this thing all afternoon. So you're talking about a probably good solid at least seven hours of already uh, testing it. And no warping, no cracking, no uh, line separation, no nothing. It's doing good. And if you're saying, oh, well, that's just a Nexus Pro. My Nexus Pro, I actually weighed it, weighs about 3.13 pounds. Because besides... It, the Nexus itself, I also have a knockoff Magbull stock on the back of it. I have the Stage 1 metal kit in it. I have the metal uh, flash hider on it along with the scar barrels. And I also have this ridiculous scope on it, which I absolutely love. So yeah, this thing weighs in at 3 pounds and it just sits on that little piece. And it is perfect. So, there's that. Uh, I'm going to just showcase how to install it because it... Batarazis. Okay, so installation of these things are really, really simple, really, really easy, and honestly, it's great. They come with this uh, three-pronged hook. You put the two prongs into your pegboard, like so 
once you in, have a place where you want it to sit, you then take this part, uh, the actual mount, you have a back slot here that just goes right into the hook. The two other pegs go right underneath it. And you have your mount. And now you have your display. Simple as that. So, my final thoughts on these. Um, I really, really like these things. So... Yeah, besides my small little issue that I had with my full-length mag uh, uh, base, everything that I tried on it, with the exception of one, worked on there. Um, I have my... I tried it with my Max Striker, and it worked. I tried it with my Caliburn, and it worked. I tried it with my Cita S, it worked. I tried it with my Dart Zone Pro Mark 1.1, and it worked. The only thing that I had that would have been wall mounted that it did not work with was my retaliator. And that is because the retaliator at the back end of the magazine well has two little dips or two little points that kind of come out of there and they hit the lip that's on and flush. And this was after I had kind of fixed mine so that it does fit flush. But yeah, it. That one, unfortunately, doesn't work because they would have to redesign or take shave some off of it at the end. But, you know, that would be something you would either have to either A, do yourself, or B, you'd have to talk to uh, the shop about. But, yeah, quality of build is, is, is there. Um, and speaking of is the price for these things. All the wall mounts, uh, regardless of whether you get them for wall or the pegboards are $15. The tactical jolt runs about 20 or so. And everything obviously comes all completely assembled when you get it. So you have your hardware for your pegboards already put in. Um, again, I really can't speak about the flush wall mount versions. Uh, the tactical jolt came to me completely assembled, obviously minus the jolt. And... They even have the hardware taped in there so that you have everything is just, you know, it's all there. So, but yeah, I really like these things. And when I wind up redoing the shop eventually and have my full wall OPEG board, I might be picking up a couple more of these to mount some of those other blasters that you don't see up there uh, because I'll finally, one, have room for it, and two, I'll have an actually a very nice way and a very clean way of being able to display them. So go check out Nerd Nerds. Link is in the description below. I'm not getting anything out of this. I'm just helping out somebody in the community. So on that note, thank you all very much for joining me for this video. And as always, if you enjoy the content we put here, please throw us a like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of these things or, you know, say hi. Hi. So, oh, and don't forget to click that little bell icon. Otherwise, you may not know when me and Arlene are doing our silliness here on the channel. But, again, thank you all very much for joining. I'll see you guys next time. Later. Don't forget we have a P.O. Box.